excited about our art project today. We've talked about positive and negative space. We talked about um, what we have in our hearts, and now we're gonna combine the two. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of construction paper. It can be whatever color you want your heart to be. I chose purple, you can choose pink, you can choose blue, you can choose green, any color you would like. Um, and then you're gonna need some white piece of paper. You're also going to need any type of coloring materials that you would like. I have crayons, markers, and watercolor here. You're going to need some glue and you're going to need some scissors. Let's get started by folding our paper in half. So we're going to fold that construction paper in half like a hamburger. Like you're making a card. You're going to fold it in half. Okay. Then we are going to draw half of a heart and we're going to create some symmetry here. So you need your, you can get your pencil. That's something else you might need, a pencil. And we are going to draw half a heart. So you can, um, you're going to start here at this point and you can make your heart as big or as small as you would like. I like to add a little curve at the bottom. You don't have to do that. You can make whatever shape you want, whatever half of the heart shape you want. There's lots of options. You can make it, you can go something like really straight like that. Make it a little tiny. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. It's your artwork, half of a heart. And you're gonna come and take your scissors and we're gonna cut out half this heart with our paper folded. And we've done this before. When we do this, it creates symmetry. So this is how we're gonna get a perfectly symmetrical heart That's what we're doing to one side we're doing to the other my heart's a little big I wish I'd made it a little smaller that's okay maybe I can cut it out Ooh. and then when we unfold it I have my heart Okay, and then when I unfold this, I have a heart in the negative space. So we're going to play with both of these. We're going to start with our heart, um, the heart that we cut out. So let's take that piece of paper. I'm going to only take one right now. You can decide how you want to put your heart on your piece of paper. Heart can go this way. You can do a landscape. I think I'm going to do portrait you get to choose and then look for those pencil lines and you want to put the glue on the side with the pencil lines so we're going to glue this down onto your paper i'm going to put the glue on the side with the pencil lines so i gotta go around the object do a little bit in the middle if you're using liquid glue you can spread it around with your finger and go all the way up to the corner You don't have to put it in the middle if you don't want to. Okay, so before we do our next thing, let's glue down the other paper. So we'll put this aside. So we're gonna be finished with two artworks. And now we are going to add the negative space on top to create, so the white becomes the positive space and the white's the negative space here. You see? So let's, glue these papers together. I'm looking for those pencil lines. I want to put the, pen, the glue on the pencil lines so the pencil lines go to the back. Okay. 
So we have two hearts. We have our purple positive space and our purple negative space. Our white positive space and our white negative space. And they're flipped. So let's start with this one. We're gonna start where the white is the positive space, the purple is the negative space. So the white is the object, the heart is the object. That's what we are, um, that's why it's the positive space. It is what fills the paper, what draws the eye. And we are going to color in this space and make it even more positive than positive. We're gonna color in what's in our heart. So we just read that book and she said, this is when my heart is happy. This is when my heart is brave. This is when my heart is angry. Take a moment and just decide where your heart is at. Hmm. And then you can use whatever materials you want. I might do a crown resist. You can use whatever materials you want to color where your heart is at. If you wanna write words, you could write words. If you want to draw a scene of how your heart feels, you can do that visually. Right now, I'm feeling, I'm kinda of just seeing colors. I'm trying to think, where is my heart at? Mm. I'm feeling a little bit like my heart is feeling like a waterfall right now. I got a lot going on, so I'm gonna color some lines for the water, like water's falling down. But maybe you wanna draw a flower. You get to decide, you're the artist. You get to know where your heart's at right now. Maybe you had a hard morning and you're feeling a little bit um, stressed or angry. Where is your heart at? I'm feeling a little bit like a river, like a, a little bit of peace, but also the rush of the river too. Like a lot is going on in my life right now and my heart is excited. I'm making some bubbles down here at the bottom the water will be hidden. I'm going to do a watercolor resist. So that means I'm going to paint over this with watercolor. But you can do markers. You can do whatever you want inside here. I'm going to come and get my watercolors. Remember, you don't have to do watercolor. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna put glue over top of this water. And I might do some green in the I'm not sure. But remember that I, your heart's not, most likely not in the same place as my heart. Okay, I can't get this up. my 
difference feeling. And again, if the pictures are hard for you to think in, you can just write some words. You can think in color. You can do all one color. to me too because I do have a lot going on but I do like how I get this moment of peace where I get to create art lessons I'm hanging out with you all And behind here, I think I want to do some dark grays because even though I'm feeling peace right now, there are some there are places in my heart that are feeling, you know, kind of heavy, like rocks are heavy. come in and even try and do some marker. I'm just going to mix all my media. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I hope it looks cool. I'm going to put some marker right in here. Play with adding water to this. So I'm just experimenting right now. Exploring where my heart is at. I'm honestly a little surprised where my heart is at. It's so good to check in with where your heart is at. So there's that. Look what we did with that positive space. Now we're gonna work with the negative space. So this next one is a little bit harder to think about. So we figured out where our heart is at, what we're feeling peaceful. For me, maybe you're feeling angry, maybe you're feeling brave, maybe you're feeling excited, whatever it is. I want you to now think about how that looks on the outside. So this is how it looks on the inside. Now we're going to do how that may look for you on the outside. Does it give you a lot of energy? Does it mean that you're yelling if you're angry? Like, What does that emotion, how does in your heart look on the outside? It might look, this might be the inside, but how does it look on the outside? Um, this is a hard thing to think about. So I'm gonna think, I'm gonna have a moment of thinking, hmm, when I am feeling how I'm feeling right now, which is peaceful, how does that look? on the inside. It may help you to think about the characters from inside out. When Joy has the controls, how does Riley appear on the outside? What does Riley look like when fear has the controls? Sadness, anger, or disgust? And again, you can write your words. You can say, um, when I'm peaceful, I feel like, um, I feel like nothing can um, upset me. Or when I'm peaceful, when I'm angry, I feel like yelling at everything. Or however that, whatever action, we're thinking about like actions that perceive what feels on the inside. So when I'm peaceful, I think I just feel like that's coming out, like shooting out of me is this blue color. It's nice and powerful and strong. So I like to think a lot in colors. I'm feeling with the colors. I'm really gravitating towards this color a lot. And again, this is your artwork. So you can use crowns, you can use markers, you can use the paints. But we're thinking about how your emotion might even affect others too. 
as your emotions shoot out from your heart. Because I know when I'm feeling peaceful, my two-year-old daughter is feeling a lot more peaceful too. Or she's feeling safe. So these are some big concepts. That's why it helps sometimes to just think in these colors. I'm shooting out this piece from my heart. And if you're not quite understanding totally yet, that's totally fine. We're just talking about how we feel in our heart, and then we're talking about how that feeling affects those around us. And again, I'm going to kind of do that illusion to water wave. And I'm going to do a crown resist on this one too. I'm going to bring my watercolor in. If you're just using markers, that's fine. You, I, again, I didn't say you had to use crowns. You don't have to use um, watercolor, that's just what I chose to do. It is interesting because I think sometimes we we feel, other people feel our big emotions more than our smaller emotions. So like peace, sometimes people don't pick up on peace when you feel peace as much as they pick up on anger when you feel anger. When you feel anger, when you think about when someone's angry, you stop and you want to know why. Or when someone's sad, another big emotion. Maybe feeling sad, it draws your attention. All right, I think I'm good with my crayon. Now in the background, I wanna do my somewhat of my environment. I'm thinking of those colors that I would feel, that I would impact, and I kind of want like, I want a warm color, like, I don't want that. I might do this red, maybe mix it with pink. The other thing about emotions is that they come and go so fast. So see how I did my lines outward? I want it to feel like it's shooting across, so I'm gonna do these lines horizontal. So I'm just I'm just being intentional with oops, I don't with what I'm doing. It probably would have been better to use watercolor paper. And I love how the color, the watercolor, will fill all that blank space. I know a lot of you hear me say on when I grade your papers, remember to cover all that blank space with your awesome artwork. And I don't know if that gets annoying but I'm sure it does at some point. But a great way to try and fill that space is to do a watercolor resist. You know, make sure to use the materials that you're supposed to use, follow the instructions first. But if there's space to do a resist, that's totally 
really hurry. It's a great way to fill something totally different you may have a giraffe on your paper by all means it doesn't it's just this is your artwork we did the part about negative positive and negative space and now you get to just create and have fun lots of freedom in this art lesson from now but in this moment I'm feeling a lot of stillness and peace in my happy place and creating this art when I feel this stillness and peace I feel this energy this blue energy that I see coming out into my environment and hopefully it will create peace in those around me as well I can't wait to hear about your artwork and so there we have it there's our heart art with what's inside and what's going outside of our heart